My name is Matt Cranfield. I work for Cork Medical. When you receive your delivery of your negative pressure equipment, it will consist of a bag, a pump, and a charger. Also, in the box you will have items called canisters, which we'll discuss further, and you'll have items called a dressing kit. Negative pressure will be applied to your wound that you currently have. Negative pressure is worn seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Your home health care provider, home health care nurse, will be changing your dressings on a set schedule by your physician order. One of the items to know about negative pressure I want to reiterate is that this pump is worn and taken with you 24 hours a day. The pump has an internal battery in it that will require charging. Most patients typically receive 8 to 18 hours of battery life from their battery. During the times, our recommendation is if you're sleeping or you're sitting in your chair, you remove the charger. Make sure you take your charger and plug it into an outlet 110 and ensure the outlet is not on a switch because we don't want someone accidentally shutting off the switch and not being able to charge your device. The pump will go in the black bag. The pump does not have to be removed from the black bag and we recommend it staying in the black bag until a canister change is necessary, which we'll review here in a few minutes. On your pump, there's a flap on the side. You pull down the flap on the front and you plug your charger into the side. You'll notice a blue light is illuminating on the pump indicating the pump is charging. If you need to get up, go to the store, walk around, you can just unplug it and set the charger to the side. When you come back and sit back down or lie in bed, you can charge the pump again at that time. To navigate through the device, you have the menu or exit button which controls most of the device's functions. So to operate the device, you can press the menu button, comes up four simple icons. The clinician may need to adjust from intermittent to continuous mode of therapy. Underneath, if it is continuous mode of therapy, you can hit continuous. You can set the pressure from 40 millimeters of mercury up to 200 millimeters of mercury. Use the button arrow over. Once you have the prescribed order, you can hit menu or select and it says, do you want to accept changes? And the new therapy is displayed on the base menu. The menu button also, underneath the settings menu, you can change this device from English to Spanish. Exit always takes you one screen back. If you go into the alarm menu, you can also review underneath the log display the last alarms of this pump with the date and times. Exit always takes you one screen back also. You can hit exit until you return back to the base menu. If you need to lock the device, you can press the up and down button together and you'll see the icon will turn to a lock icon. During this, you can hit the menu. You just will not allow you access to any of the menus besides the patient can still read about troubleshooting, which is the fourth icon. You can hit exit and go back. To unlock the device, up and down arrow together and you'll see the lock becomes unlocked, the device is unlocked. Also with the pump, your nurse will change your dressings three times a week. In your box of supplies, you'll be given canisters. Canisters is where the drainage goes. Negative pressure is nothing more as simple as a human vacuum cleaner. And let me explain that. Your home health care provider will cut the foam to fit inside the wound, cover it, and put a little suction device on it, and it removes the excess debris and the excess drainage from your wound, which in turn aids in healing of your wound. 
Your canister is where the drainage goes. These are sealed. These are changed once a week or when they're full. Your home health nurse will initially attach it by hinging it in place and the canister is in place and you will see this fill up with drainage. The drainage can be a, a Kool-Aid color, it can be a, a clarish color, it can have a, a little tint to it also. It's not abnormal either. The longer you wear negative pressure, less drainage you will see inside the canister itself. One of the responsibilities as a patient is you will have to change this canister if you receive a canister full alarm. That means the canister has filled with drainage. On the screen, you will pop up with instructions. The first thing it says is power off your pump. You will power off your pump. Next item is you will have a clamp on the canister. You clamp that. You remove your canister. You dispose of it in a trash bin. From there, you take your new canister out of the packaging, place it on your pump, lock it in place, unclamp your tubing, then you power on your pump and your therapy will resume as previous. When you're done with replacing the canister, please place it back in the black bag. Place the pump in there, zip up the top, and you close the front pouch. Now your therapy is resumed back to where it was previously. Why this pump is operating, if there's no visible alarms or audible alarms on the screen, the pump is functioning exactly how it's intended to function. One nice thing about this pump is that if there is an alarm condition, the pump will explain to you why the pump is alarming and then immediately after that a set of troubleshooting guide will come up and help you troubleshoot how to fix that problem. One alarm that may occur during your therapy is called a leak alarm. It will be displayed up in the header You'll see a leak icon. It'll also be making an audible noise. And at this point, you have the option of muting it for five minutes. You press mute. Then immediately after that, a troubleshooting menu walks you through step by step how to rectify that alarm. Starts with number one, arrow down. And it walks you step by step how to fix your leak alarm. You might have the same notification for a block alarm. You'll have the same notification for a battery alarm. And as you saw earlier, you have the same notification for a canister full alarm. On any alarm, if you're not able to rectify the problem within two hours of the initial alarm, you need to remove your dressing and place a moist dressing inside the wound your home health care provider will provide you with the materials needed to perform this task and will educate you further. It is imperative that you do not let the dressing stay in the wound longer than two hours with the pump not functioning. Once you rectify the alarm, fix the problem, you'll notice the icon disappears, the pump goes back to normal operation and function. If you notice your canister filling with frank red blood in a rapid manner, you need to immediately power off the pump. If you're able to reach your wound, apply pressure to the wound and call 911. And with that, it's normal to have a little Kool-Aid color, pinkish color drainage. Um, the main cautionary note is if it fills the canister in a rapid manner with bright red blood, you need to power off the pump hold pressure and call 911. There is a risk of bleeding associated with negative pressure. Do not remove the dressing. If you notice any significant changes in your drainage or a smell or um, the consistency of your drainage, you need to notify your medical provider of that change. 
Some common questions and answers with negative pressure wound therapy. How long will this device take to heal my wound? That all depends on your wound condition, your etiology of your wound, the location of your wound. On average, most patients can wear this device from one to four months, depending on wound progression. One of the next common questions we get with negative pressure wound therapy, can I take a bath or a shower with the device? It is recommended if you do want to take a shower that you turn the pump off, you clamp here on your canister, disconnect from your dressing, clamp that, and set your pump to the side. Cover up your dressing or not to expose it to the bath or shower, the area of the body it's on. You can take a shower. The other recommendation is your home health care provider will be changing your dressings two to three times a week. Coordinate with them that you can remove the dressing prior to them coming out to take a shower if your physician allows this. Some other common questions in the answer. Is it normal for the pump to sound like it's turning on and off? That is 100% normal. The pump will turn on and off and what I mean by turning on and off, you'll hear a little vibration of it to repressurize your wound to keep it at the appropriate settings. Some other common questions and answers. How do I get dressed if I have a lower leg wound and I have the tubing running through my pants? Same idea, clamp your tubing on the canister side, clamp your tubing on the dressing side, disconnect, and run it through, reconnect, and disconnect both clamps. This will allow you to be able to get dressed if you have a lower extremity wound or wounds that require it to be disconnected. The dressing kits are changed two to three times a week based on your physician's preference and the order. Your home health care provider will be changing those. Your canisters are changed once a week or when they're full. A couple Housekeeping items, as I call them. Make sure you keep your pump dry. Um, make sure you don't drop it. If you submerge this pump in water, you need to immediately disconnect power from it. Always, again, keep it in the black bag unless you're changing the canister on the device. And always remember to charge the device while you're sitting down. Thank you for watching this instructional video on negative pressure wound therapy.